This is one of my all-time favourite cake recipes, not only because it's really, really delicious, but because it's ridiculously easy to make. The batter takes all of about five minutes work and then you just chuck it in the oven and that's all there is to it. It's great for last minute bake sales or if you've got people coming around for tea and coffee. It's really, really tasty, really, really moist and I guarantee you're going to love it. Let's make this beautiful pineapple cake. I'm the One Pot Chef. To make our cake batter, it's ridiculously easy. Into a mixing bowl, I've got two cups of self-raising flour. If you can't get self-raising flour where you live, or if you just don't have any, you can use regular, plain, or purpose flour and add in two teaspoons of baking powder. Now to that, I'm also adding in one cup of white sugar, just regular granulated sugar will be fine. And just mix those together until they're combined. I've made a well in the centre of the dry ingredients and we're going to start adding in our wet ingredients. First things first, two eggs, two teaspoons of vanilla, and a can of crushed pineapple. Now, if you can't get crushed pineapple, if you can only get pieces or rings, don't panic, just pop it into the blender or the food processor and just give it a blitz until it's sort of crushed up and mushy. Now, all we need to do is mix these together until we get our batter. It's fairly easy to follow. It's not that complicated a recipe and this already smells amazing. <laughs> I'm really holding back from sticking my finger in at the moment. Now, the pineapple, I used about a 430 gram can. I'm not quite sure what that is in old money, <laughs> but I'm sure you can convert it. You can type it into Google. That's mixed together nicely and you can see those really small pineapple pieces all through it. That's the great thing about using the crushed pineapple in this because we get a little bit of pineapple in every single bite of the cake. If you use big chunks like pineapple pieces, you don't necessarily get a lot of pineapple flavour to us. This, it makes it nice and even and distributed. Now this is the secret to guaranteeing this cake is perfect every single time. This is a ring cake tin, also known as a bunt tin, and it's got this cone in the centre so it just has the cake around this section. So if you've ever been worried about a cake not being fully cooked in the centre, you never have to worry about it again because there is no centre to the cake. Now all I've done is I've lightly sprayed this with a little bit of cooking oil and we're just going to pour our batter into the tin. Just to make sure there's no air bubbles in the cake mixer, I'm just going to drop the tin a couple of times lightly. Lovely, perfect. This is ready to go into the oven. Preheated oven, 180 degrees Celsius, about 365 degrees Fahrenheit for about 45 minutes or until the cake is cooked all the way through. And you can test that by inserting a skewer into the cake and if the skewer comes out clean, it's ready to go. While our cake is baking in the oven, I thought I'd take this opportunity to remind you to check out my social media. Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. Links in the video description underneath this video on YouTube. And speaking of YouTube, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Click the subscribe button and the little notification bell next to it. That way you won't miss out on any of my new videos. And our pineapple cake is fresh out of the oven. It's looking golden and gorgeous. We're just going to leave it in the tin for at least 10 minutes to cool. And what we're going to do is we'll allow this to cool in the tin. It's going to free itself from the sides and it'll make it much easier to slip out of the tin and onto a serving plate. The cake has been cooling for a little while, so we're going to try and invert this onto a serving plate. So I'm just going to put the plate over the top and give it a quick flip. Oh, let's see what happens. Oh, lovely, beautiful. Look at that. That's gorgeous. Once the cake is completely cooled, you can put an icing or a frosting on it if you want. I personally just go for a bit of simplicity and just dust a little bit of powdered sugar over the top of the cake. And here we have our completed super easy pineapple cake. This is so easy to put together. It takes literally five minutes work and then just throw it into the oven. It's great for morning or afternoon tea or when you've got friends and family dropping by for coffee. You are gonna absolutely love this cake. Golden brown on the outside and beautiful yellow and moist on the inside. This is a truly beautiful cake. Now I've cut a little wedge out of it so you can have a look, but you can see 
the chunks of pineapple in it. How gorgeous is that? All right, no more mucking about, time for a taste. Mmm. Oh, that is gorgeous. <laughs> mm. The outside of the cake has got that gorgeous golden crust. Inside, it's moist, it's crumbly, and you've got beautiful chunks of pineapple all through it, and that pineapple flavour has just gone all the way through it. It's beautifully moist. It reminds me almost like, like a steamed pudding on the inside. It's quite thick and dense, but it's also crumbly, and it's really, really cakey. It's absolutely delicious. This is very easy to throw together, and as I said, you can have it plain like this. You can dust it with icing sugar, you can put a frosting or an icing on it, whatever you like. Well, I hope you enjoyed this recipe. Check out my other videos at OnePotChefShow.com. And until next time, see you later. This is definitely a recipe you want to keep on the back burner for last minute bake sales or just when friends are coming by. But this is actually a really easy recipe to adapt. You can use pretty much any tin fruit you like as long as it's been mushed up. So crushed pineapple, you could use apple, you could use peach, you could use apricot, whatever you like. As long as it's mushed up and stirred into the batter, it's going to be absolutely amazing.